Welcome back, first timers. We're still in Costa Rica, but this time we headed north. And against strong suggestions of some people we know, we are going to be chasing waterfalls today. That's right, we're gonna go look at a famous waterfall. We got our life jackets on. We're getting in the back of the truck. Watch your head. Oh, God. watch your head. I, I know Terry is extremely excited. Uh, can say that. <laughs> nervous. I am very nervous right now. Very outside of my comfort zone. Wish me luck, everyone. Will I survive? It really doesn't matter if we do or not because we already signed the waivers. So here we go. Oh man, that's a huge drop. So the drive from Tamarindo out to the waterfall took a little bit longer than anticipated. Uh, originally it said about an hour and a half drive. It took us over two hours. There was quite a bit of traffic. We were driving uh, Monday morning, so there's school traffic, regular commute traffic. Make sure you prepare yourself for that because we were running late and now we're, we're a little bit behind, but they were super accommodating. They didn't mind that we were late and we're going to try and do our best to keep on schedule now. So we're at La Leona Waterfall. Well, we're not there yet, but you're gonna see it. And at the beginning of the trail, there's a nice little cafe. Looks like they got snacks, information, trees. What? I was just talking. Terry says I have to stop talking now. We have our tour guide, Alejandro. Hello guys. Nice to meet you, Alejandro. But he's gonna be taking us there. It's two kilometers there, two kilometers back. It's about a two hour hike. Now with larger groups, it might take a little bit longer, but because it's just us two, we're pretty quick. And uh, I think we'll be there, enjoy it, and be back in about two hours. So the hike so far is a pretty nice meandering stroll. It's a little muddy, a little rocky, a little uneven. But if you have mobility issues, keep that in mind. Also, you need closed toed shoes. It doesn't seem like it's an issue right now, but with bugs, I would probably recommend bug spray and sunblock. But right now we're not experiencing any bugs. It might be too soon to tell though. Pura Vida! Hola! Hey, look at this, this is great! The first stop on our tour is White River. It's named after that because of the high mineral content. And because of the high mineral content, no fish, no frogs, no snakes will grow or live in here. So it's completely cold and pristine. This tree is called the Naked Indian Tree. It's a very popular tree out here in Costa Rica. Legend has it, if you give it a hug, you have good luck, so. Just in case, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> that? Oh, they got ladders and everything. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Be careful of the ants. They're out because it just rained, and boy, do they hurt when they bite. It's an amazing rock wall. There's caves, all kinds of stuff. But like I said, watch out for the ants. But those ants, they sure sting. This is the Batman cave.
Thank you. going Indiana Jones style now. I think we're getting close. The name is Puyol, volcanic rock, contains minerals, and it's good for the skin. We're paint, let's go. <laughs> okay, nice. gotta, gotta get ready. <laughs> go. switching to waterproof mode so you probably can't hear me that well but we're about to get in the water and go see this waterfall are you excited terry it is so cold ha, ha. it's very cold okay you can repeat that now that's it. It's shallow here. Yeah.
this hike is so much fun, even though it didn't look like I was having fun at some points, but it's good for all ages too. Little kids, older adults, everybody. Swimming definitely helps, but it is not required. The life jackets will save you. We totally survived the waterfall. Now we're making the trek back. That was absolutely amazing. I know I say that a lot. Oh, still trying to walk, but it was so refreshing, so awesome. The water was so powerful and man, it was just a real special experience. And Terry overcame all her fears, or at least faced some of them. I didn't know if we were gonna make it some of those times, but she got there, she got back, she got wet. I couldn't be happier. I'm so proud of her for doing it. I'm glad she came here. I'm glad she went on this hike. I didn't think she was gonna do it. I thought she was gonna wait in the car. So thank you, Terry, for coming. It was a good time, even though I was terrified for 50% of it. If it wasn't for our guide, oh, big yeah. shout out. He, Alejandro. Alejandro was the man. He made sure we were safe there and back. There was times where Terry was choking me out and he, uh, he had to step in and save us both. If you have any doubts about wanting to go on this trip, put those aside, go on them. Even if you can't swim, Terry's terrified of water and she did it. We'll leave all of their contact information in the description below. But this is just one more amazing special thing that Costa Rica has to offer. We're outside of Liberia in Costa Rica, just near the international airport. We just finished an exhausting adventure at a waterfall. So to give us a little pick me upper, we have another one in store for you today. We're at Tia Leo Coffee Farm. We're gonna take a tour, drink some coffee, get some chocolate and some empanadas. They have a huge gift shop at the beginning of the tour. They have all kinds of arts and crafts and coffee for sale. But I think we're gonna come back here after we're done. Right now, it's the tour time and they highly recommend putting on bug spray. So we lather on pretty quick and uh, hopefully we can avoid too many mosquitoes. We just finished the first portion of the tour and it was in depth and it was exciting. We got the history of coffee, the history of coffee in Costa Rica, about the imports, the exports, the the, the processes and then we learned about what they do here specifically at this plantation on how it's sustainable and how they use the byproducts to fertilize the crops and they're working diligently to find a way to grow coffee plants at a lower elevation but in hotter climates to adjust to any potential climate change down the road they're doing some really innovative things and we are comparing the smells of different coffees like standard coffees here versus what they're producing and i'm telling you i got full-blown handmade Costa Rican coffee chills. Ooh. Yeah, that's That's exciting. But right now we're gonna hold on the coffee because we've already had a cup and we're gonna start making empanadas. So open this up and press. <clears throat> Let's make this a little bit more uh, compact. in the oil now. It was a mixture of red beans and coffee. That sounds really exciting. I can't wait to taste it, but they're being cooked over here on an open fire. Homemade well, chili, at the end of you, if you'd like to get your recipe, um, just uh, take my WhatsApp number mm -hmm. and I'll send you the recipe and the ingredients. Red beans. <laughs> This is an amazing empanada and the chili sauce, man, that slaps. We're gonna have to look at his blog. <laughs> that turns it over the edge. Would recommend. It's chocolate time. We're gonna sit down. He's gonna tell us all about chocolate. We're gonna learn about the history. We're gonna learn about the culture, the fables, the therapeutic uses of it. And I can't wait. Originally from South America. Discovered growing wild in the Amazon, South America by Ecuador almost 4,000 years ago. The indigenous people brought it to Northern Central America and the first tribe in contact with cacao were the Olmecs in Mexico. And then the Aztecs, but finally the Mayans were the first to discover they could make a special beverage out of these uh, seeds. Mm. 
first time they prepared this drink, it was like a can of a tea with some spices. They called this drink so flat. It was that special when they tried that they couldn't believe that that was made by themselves. Mm -hmm. So they thought that that was something really special given by gods. For that reason, they decided that this was going to be a holy drink that only the Empire could have it and only during special ceremonies. Besides him, the only human being who tried this drink at the beginning was Hernan Cortez, the Spaniard who conquered Mexico. We just found out that you're supposed to eat a little bit of dark chocolate every morning to replace your serotonin drops from the night before, and chocolate was used as a currency here in Costa Rica. Terry's gonna be shucking some cocoa beans. Mmm. Mmm. You can eat the whole thing. Mm. brownie. Mm. It's like a brownie. It's like a, like a toasted sunflower seed. Mm -hmm. That's, <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't even know why we're shucking them. No. Yeah. <laughs> I just eat these. Oh, you eat the whole thing? I don't. I don't know. I didn't get the instructions. Oh, I just took the. I took the shell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here. maybe I'm doing it wrong. We got another round of cacao drink. This one they're calling iguana milk. I yes, I don't milk. think that it's actually iguana milk just by the nature of mammals. Oh, 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 oh. I, I was looking through the camera. Sorry, my depth perception was off. Mm, yummy. That's so good. So good. That's really good. Light and chocolatey. Big one, el grande, el grande. <laughs> so I'm going to take the nacho in here. Oh, yeah. It's light, aromatic, in. sweet, without being it. overly sweet or creamy. <laughs> this is nice. It's it's even refreshing for being a hot drink when I'm sweating. Right here, we've got the uh, ground cacao. <laughs> Don't eat the leaf. I didn't realize you were a chocolate expert. Sweet. Mm. But not like super chocolatey. Like, where's my mm. It tastes it, a lot like chocolate covered almonds mm. chopped up. Sweet, nutty, delicioso. We're now transitioning to another part of this tour. I think the coffee and the sugar and the <laughs> chocolate's all hitting because I'm getting pretty excited right now. We're getting a chocolatey rub down. How's that feel? It's nice, exfoliating. <laughs> Terry opted out of the chocolate facial. <laughs> Next part of the tour, we're gonna take a little walk around the property, check out the plants, the coffee, the cacao. Let's go. This plantation is over three and a half acres of farm and trees and fruit and plants. The coffee is here, but it's sheltered by the different plants, yeah. fruit, and it is diverse. Guava, plantains, avocado, anything you can imagine. It's growing right here. What do you think? It's pretty cool. A lot of mosquitoes. You would drink that? This is a noni plant. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Terry, get some of this in your nose. No, I'm good. Oh, you really should. Try oh, God. It. So, this is the coffee cherry. It's actually, these ones aren't ripe yet. They're green rather than red, but biting into it, it's still really sweet. It's juicy. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Way better than the Congo chili that Terry didn't film me try because that burned my face off. The types and varieties of plants out here is amazing. And everything smells great. We're biting into stuff, they're tasting good. This is an experience you have to do. We lost some of our group members, first to some mosquitoes, and then to a Congo pepper, which kind of wiped the other half out. Terry and I, we're still hanging in. It's starting to dump pretty good. So I think we're gonna head back and go to the next phase of this tour. Time to try some tamarind juice and fresh plantain. Mm -hmm. That's really good juice. It almost tastes like, like tea. 
It's very good, not sweet at all. Very refreshing. Plantain, that's really good. It's almost like potato, and you guys know I love chips. It's sugar cane pressing time now. We're about to make sugar cane juice. To extract the juice, we use an old-fashioned sugar cane press like this. Uh, usually are moved by using oxen, mules, donkeys, horses, cows, or tourists. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, sugar cane. Sweet and cold, kind of like lemonade. That is sweet, but refreshing. The only authentic Very citrusy. Sugar we are at the culmination of the tour. It's the roasting time. All right, we are in the middle of the road. Tio Leo, he's the, the face of the business. He's gonna tell you all about it. All right, uh, we're here. We've been expending the last uh, three hours in here, working out with uh, coffee, chocolate, a cooking class, and sugar cane. Finishing, just finishing with the coffee roasting process. So what we're trying to do, it's something that very small. It's a small family business that is focusing in the future, trying to uh, adapt coffee seeds and plants for the future. Because as you know, uh, climate change is affecting worldwide and uh, scientists are being announced that by 2050, coffee is going to start disappearing if we don't do anything to change uh, global warming. So that's what we're trying to do in here, trying to adapt uh, seeds and plants that we brought from higher elevation and adapting them to almost sea level. And after 15 years, our uh, plants are going in a good progress. Uh, they are completely adapted, so don't worry about it in the future. You're gonna have more coffee. <laughs> Thank you so much, you had a great time. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We're gonna check out the souvenir shop. Terry found the chocolate section. There are so many beautiful, hand-done pieces of art. World-class pieces of art right here in this gift shop. If we had more space in our luggage, we would definitely be picking up some of the stuff because it is great. I think for now, we're probably just gonna grab coffee and then maybe a cool mug or something. That was so much fun. We learned so much. We got to try plants. We tried coffee, chocolate, everything. The food, the drinks, the tour, all of it was amazing. If you're out here in Costa Rica, especially if you're in Tamarindo or up in Liberia, you gotta make a trip out to Tio Leos. He's a character. The staff is amazing. We had a great time. But if you like this video, Check out one of these other videos where we had another great time in Costa Rica. Thanks again for following along in this episode and join us next time when we try something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timers. High five.